Your buddy goes to you, says, I just bought a PS2. I don't have very much money. I only have $100. What do you recommend? Here's my recommendations for that person. So we're going to start off with the very first game is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. An amazing game. Great game. I recommend it for anybody because of the fact that it has replay value to it. You can play it again and try to get the better times. Try to beat your score. There is so many things that there is to do in each level. Get the letter skates. Get all the high scores. So you will have so much and try to best your times and try to beat your your level and try to do it in one time there's plenty of people that try to do that so i definitely recommend this one good game. and it comes in at twelve dollars and nine cents next is a fighting game tech and tag tournament this is a great fighter you get two fighters for each battle so you get to learn two different styles and i recommend it because you get to play with buddies if you want to or play against the ai hours of fun hours of beating every single character to see their ending, different things go on. There's there's cinematic cutscenes for each movie that you get to learn and get to collect. So you could play this and, and never get bored with it. And this one comes in at $10.97. Wanted to throw in a racer and that is Need for Speed Underground 2. This is an amazing game. Hours of fun. The soundtrack is really good in this one. You can just leave the game playing and play the soundtrack if you're wanted in the background. I used to play this all the time because I didn't have the CD, so I would play hours and hours of just Underground 2 soundtrack, and that would be just my room, <laughs> just hearing, okay, yeah. <laughs> so I definitely recommend this one. This one comes in at $16.50. I had to throw in a GTA game, and I was debating about which one, and I wanted to start the one that was so classic, and that is Grand Theft Auto 3. I recommend this to anybody because there's so many side missions, just not not just the main story. So many great game play time. And if you want to throw it out and start again a fresh new save, you can replay it and not get bored with it because you could do it in a different way. You could start somebody else's missions first and see how it plays out differently. But the ending is difficult but not gonna crush your soul. So I definitely recommend it. And this one comes in at eight dollars and sixty-three cents, so it's not gonna break your bank. An amazing platformer, an amazing story, Sly Cooper and the Thievus Raccoonus. Yes, it's, some people consider this a kid game, but it does have a difficulty that is not... It's in the middle. It's not going to be like, oh, I beat this in five seconds. And if you want to collect all the pages, that adds replay value because you went in and go, oh, this level has two pages that I have to get. So you got to go back in and collect them all to finish the book to get the true ending. So... This one comes in at $16.29. I had to throw in a collection so you get a bunch of games for your value, and that is Taito Legends. This is a bunch of shooters, a bunch of arcade games and classics that will keep you going. So if you beat one classic game, you can start another one. There's definitely a ton of games on this. You are not going to be bored. So I recommend it to anybody who is debating about which collection to go with. And I go with this one because... Even though there's a lot of amazing collections out there, this one actually, you can go and say hey to a buddy, uh, even though you've never played Atari or whatever, you, there's a bunch of shooters on here that you can try out. This one is $16.49. And the final game is another one that some people consider a kid game, but I don't, and that is Crash Wrath of Cortex. This is an amazing platformer slash racer because you have many levels. And the difficulty on the bosses is, is in the middle. You're not going to be destroyed as long as you learn the patterns. You're good to go. This one is $10.65. I've given you a list that is valued at $91.62. Tell me, what is your list for PS2? If a buddy came to you and said, I only have $100, what would you recommend? I hope you all make a video, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye, everybody. the gamer gal she's here she's playing games linda the gamer gal she's here she's playing games too